my name is Flora Angero and we are at Plus X Products. Plus X Products is a company that deals with manufacturing smart shine care products, shoe care products. We deal with shoe care products, that is shoe creams, sweat cleaners, and leather, leather dyes. Okay, smart shine shoe products started in 2009. So we are like four years old now. And I can't say we're heading somewhere. All along I wanted to be a, to do something, I wanted some, to do something in the line of doctrine. But then I got married, started getting kids, and I forgot all about my dream. So I, I had to think beyond my doctrine career. So that's when I came up with the idea of starting to manufacture. And uh, okay, I looked at it this way. I looked in the cosmetics industry and I thought it's quite congested. And then I looked at the shoe care industry. By then when I started, there were only two companies and uh, I realized that the market was very big. And I thought, what if I try it myself? What will happen? And that's how I came up with the idea. It really took us some time because of course I had to look for the materials, get the chemicals that is, I had to look for the right guys to do the mixing. And it really took me some time. Even getting the market out there, it wasn't that easy. But with time, endurance, and of course with a lot of courage, I managed. A week I make like 150 cartons. Of course I can't compare it with when I started. When I started, I started with, I would, I would make like 20, Take, it, take them to the market, I wait for what comes back, I produce some more, and then with time, it came to 50, 100. Nowadays, there is even a customer who can even ask for 100 cartons. So I will say the volumes are increasing with time. I always try to make my price affordable to the customers and quality, of course. Before I entered into production, I used to do, I used to, to go to import things from within East Africa. So the business didn't go very well with me. So with the savings, the little savings that I had, that is how I started the business. And of course, support from family. By then I didn't have the manpower to be able to ask for a loan. So I, I got support from family, I would say, and the little saving that I had. Actually, when it comes to work, I don't count myself as a lady. I only count myself as a lady when I get back to the house. But when it comes to Biashara, I count myself as a business lady. I face the challenges as they come. I do what I'm supposed to do. You know, the goods get out there to the customers. They don't understand that they are being produced by a lady. What they know is that they want quality, they want something that is affordable, and they want to deal with something that is, at least they can, they can, it can create profit for them. So when it comes to this field, I don't count myself as a lady, no. I want this com company to have grown to a, at least a, a very big company. Right now, I have like six employees. Of course, in the first, in the next five years, I'll have, I'll want to have employed like around 50, and to be able to supply within Kenya, within the nation, and of course East Africa, Africa, and if possible globally. Mm. What I will tell my fellow women out there is that to stop undermining themselves. That what a man can do, it said that a woman can do better. <clears throat> and if I'm doing it, I believe everybody else can do it. I never believed in myself. But now here I am. And I can say I'm doing well. So believing in yourself and be ready to face challenges as they come. Yeah. In this industry, of course, challenges, they're always there. Um, to start with, there's the challenge of materials. You find that you want to do your production, there's this material that is not there in there. The suppliers don't have it. And what do you do? At times you are, you are forced to hold. You hold your production till when the material comes back to the market. And then of course there's a problem of cash flow. You find that you have goods out there in the market, but the customers, they're not in a position to pay. And you need to, to buy products to be able to continue the production. So the challenges are there.